This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That cross your eyes. Oil Pain's new season premieres Tuesday, June 10th at 9. Wow. And this season, man, it will be blessed with the presence of someone I consider legendary, Heather B. I know it. Uh, someone who's up, uh, up, upheld music culture at, at, at its highest caliber. Uh, someone we've who's been a fabric, uh, been a pillar in our households for years uh, as we watched him on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. And someone who I think um, has um, inspired a lot of people to become great at what they do as, in terms of musicians. The one, the only, the legendary Kevin Eubanks is here. Woo! Thank you, thank you, sir. Damn, man. Thank you. Man, it's good to have you here, man. You, you look great too, man. You don't what have you been drinking? Lamb's blood or something, man? <laughs> well, actually you don't you're not a you don't eat meat, right? No, nah, no, nah, I'm vegan. You're vegan, right? Yeah. Do you yeah. eat fish? No. So you don't eat anything? No. <laughs> I eat something. <laughs> I said you don't Absolutely. eat nothing. <laughs> you're not even you're, here. You're, not, you're, you're just floating around, man. Uh, how long you been vegan? Uh, a couple years. A couple years. What made what, what was the transition about? Um, well, I've been um, uh, vegetarian and a pescatarian since I was 18 years old. You know, back and forth between eating fish and not eating fish since I was 18. Mm -hmm. And a couple years ago, uh, I read a book called The China Study. And that turned me around, and I started being vegan. Well, what did it say? You got to oh. share that. Man. You don't even want to eat fish. Um, like, oh. It was. It was just. Um, it just dealt with a lot of things of why we have a lot of the um, health problems that we have in the country, and it just kind of got into everything. And I just couldn't put the book down. Yeah. And it was just a lot of things that I just couldn't, you know, couldn't forget. And it just stayed in my head. And I said, you know what? It just seems everything they're talking about is so beneficial. Uh, about, And I've always been interested in health and stuff yeah. like that. Um, so I just said, well, let's just give it. It, it can only do, I, if I don't like it, I can just go back. Go back to eating the food. You must be very difficult to cook for, though, right? <laughs> like, who, who, uh, do you cook for yourself? Or? I, I do. Yeah. And um, more and more, I'm, I'm running into people that that cook that way. Um, trying to run in some ladies that cooked that way Hello. too. That would be nice. <laughs> Heather, know? I was gonna say, you know, you nah. know, because Heather's a chef. I like meat. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you can still, you can still cook though other stuff. Just it, you know, even if you like meat, that's cool. Um, but you can still learn to cook other things well, too along with that. Yeah, but yeah, I chicken and fish. Though I don't eat pork or okay. beef. Okay, that's just cool. Chicken, and, chicken fish. and fish is yeah. cool. And it's becoming more popular. Like I know, um, Jay Z and Beyonce as a way to celebrate their anniversary, they went vegan for a, a little bit. That's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful because that and a lot of people hear that and they check it out because mm -hmm. there's so many benefits to it. It's just hard to enumerate them all, but um. Uh, I checked it out, and I feel really great about it. Okay, you man. Know. Well, you look great, man. Kevin yeah. Eubanks has yeah. joined us, man. I've watched you for years doing uh, with Jay Leno, man. I, you, you, get, you did about, what, 15? How many years? I did uh, 18 years. 18 with years with Jay, man. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, man, I feel like I know you, Kev. This is difficult <laughs> for cool, me. man. Um, That's man, cool. um, how has life been? It seemed like you, your life has sped up since right. post-Jay Leno. I mean, um, how has it been for you? It's been cool. It's um, made me think about a whole lot of things. Because after a while, you just go, well, um, of course, you know, we're all in the business. So we're doing what we just trying to fulfill our, you know, creative side. Yeah. Um, and then once you really get into the business and get everything rolling, you start to think about different things like, you know, I need a balance in my life. And, you know, mm -hmm. who are the people that I'm seeing in my life is is um, work the first thing I think about and do I think about my people, do I think about my friends and you know loved ones and everything. So after a while, you have the luxury of considering that a little bit more yeah. too after a while. Mm -hmm. And then that presents a whole different side of things, which is basically what I'm dealing with right now. Face to face, man, that's a classic right there. Kevin Eubanks has joined us. A lot of folks know him from the music world, the world of music, the yep. world of jazz. A uh, lot of folks know him from doing The Tonight Show with Jay Leno mm -hmm. for 18 years. Um, and now you know him from Sway in the Morning, damn it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me ask you this. Yeah, man, good to have you, man. Okay, let me go through a couple. Okay, so Jay Leno and you, um, you guys speak often. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we stay in touch. Okay. Um, do y'all ever like just get together and just go through the old routine sometimes? No. No, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, no, we Jay. do. Well, if he's playing somewhere, 
He'll call me up and ask me, do I want to come to the show? Uh-huh. And sometimes I'll I'll show up, and then we just we'll have dinner in his dressing room. We'll fly back to L.A. together, depending on where he is. He just calls and say, hey, you know, I'm playing in this part of the country. You know, if you're around, come or he'll fly me somewhere. Um, he always talks to my mom and dad, yeah. um, like on our birthdays mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So, good man. That's a good you know, we, we've stayed in, uh, we've stayed in touch. And at first, you know, a lot of people think, well, they're just doing that for the media. They're just trying to make, you know, keep everything cool. But it's not like that. We just call like, Jay, what you doing, man? And he says, no, you won't believe what I'm doing, man. I can't, you know, yeah. and we just go into it and he says, all right, just checking on you. See what's up. And that's it. We're just kind of cool like that. Now, what's interesting and kind of ironic is, you know, Kev grew up in Philly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we were talking about uh, growing up in the Philly neighborhoods. You know, you got Gamble right. and Huff, they're from Philly, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's the uh, this dudes who just sold train? MFSB. MFSB. Yeah, yeah. From, they're from Philly. Yeah. Uh, Jazzy Jeff's from Philly. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, everybody's told. Oh, pile of folks from the, Philly. The Roots are from Philly. Yeah, absolutely. And now they're the second, you know, this is the second wave. Jay mm-hmm. Leno and Kevin Eubanks uh, go on to do other things. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Fallon and the Roots come in. Mm-hmm. Are you are you, are you you friends with the Roots? I've, I've never hung with them, never played with them or anything. Really? Yeah. I mean, this business is funny. Like, yeah. all of that goes on, but we're in different places. I never met Paul Schaefer before from wow. Letterman. Yeah. You know, it's, it's funny how you meet a lot of people, but by the nature of what you do, you're isolated from a lot of people at the same time. But I'm going to be um, uh, just getting around a lot more now and probably running into people that the whole time I was on the show, I didn't meet, but now I will get to meet. Yeah, so Kevin, you back. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So being from Philly, if if down the line, let me say down the line, Let's say a year from now, six, All right. six year from now. All right, it's a great grace period there. <laughs> if the roots say, "Hey, Kevin, I know they idolize you. I'm sure, um, man. Can, won't you come sit in and play with us one night? Is that is that allowed? Allowed? Oh hell yeah. Okay, good. You don't like that word. <laughs> All right, yeah, we ain't in slavery. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I had to ask somebody. You know, <laughs> but, but you know, I mean, you know, you don't know how to, be, you know. So, but would that be something you would be interested in doing? Of course. I mean, it's just some more music. Whatever it is, you know, um, either you vibe with folks and you just get into some more music. I mean, that's the way it is at any level. Yeah. Really, whether you're just starting out jamming or that's been your career forever, um, you got a vibe with somebody and it's some music to get to. You feel good doing it. That's how most of the things that really last, that's how they come about. Yeah. It's just a vibe, whether you get along with the person, whether it's friendship, music, business, you know, anything. The ones that have a mixture of a true appreciation for each other for no real reason. Yeah, just organic like. Yeah, Yeah. it's not not an ambitious thing. Uh It's not something you're trying to get from me or get from you. Mm -hmm. Um, Just like, no, he's cool. We just, you know, it's easy to get along. We can create a lot using the least amount of energy. Mm -hmm. You go further. Wow, okay, okay. So if you can, Kevin, narrow it down in a little bit. We have millions of listeners that love music. They're talented. They all automatically say, Sway, I'm trying to get in the game. So I want I want to be a singer. I want to be a rapper. How do you then become a music director? Like, what was your path to, to, to become a music director? Because it seems like you're talented in more than just one area. Mm-hmm. Um, the real path, the real answer to that is just getting getting as good as you can at what you do. Mm. And all the other networking things that happened, I had no clue that was going on at all. I never thought about being on TV. I never tried to be on TV. I never saw anything. All I wanted to do was be a better guitar player tomorrow than I am today. Mm. And one thing led to the next because that's Mm. I just try to do a good job of what's in front of me. And some people can do that. Some people go like, oh, if I make this move and I make this move, then I'm going to wind up over here. Right. So I always tried that. It never worked. It always failed. I couldn't, I couldn't like, oh, well, I'm going to network with her because she's in radio and I want to be in radio and I'm going to, you know, hang out with her and I'm going to... It never worked mm-hmm. because my personality just isn't like that. I'm not really that ambitious a person. I'm, I just like to chill, really. But I love music, so I just always play music. But I'm, I was never playing music to get from point A to point B. And that gets confusing when you have to pay rent and then you have to mm-hmm. pay your bills. Then you get confused. It's like, oh man, I gotta sell myself. I gotta do this. And then you come, you get away from your personality and you can get lost mm-hmm. thinking that you can manipulate things. But really, if that's not in your personality, 
it just doesn't work and you just just sit and do your music somebody hires you to do a job do the best you can and hopefully you're doing the right things for the right reasons somebody hears you oh i want you to do this and then it just happens more naturally that's more of my vibe that's how i get great I, yeah. great answer thank he, you for he, the he, insight he, he thank mentioned you. paying rent and everybody was like what well, is kevin eubanks he worked with jay leno man. He, ain't got, <laughs> he got no problem paying rent you're talking about prior to jay i'm Sway. just saying man <laughs> as much money as jay if you just got a crumb of what he was making <laughs> you doing all right kev uh-huh. so i'm gonna give this studio apartment up soon you know, right. <laughs> <laughs> got one bedroom uh, now, kevin i'm still stuck on the fact that you were with Jay for 18 years because that's one heaven of a feat and it just makes me think that you must have a treasure trove stuffed with memories which one stands out whether it's something hilarious or something enlightening what stands wow. out from the show um I think the the moments that stick with me the most are like the people that I've met that what we were talking about earlier about if you meet people and you just naturally get along with them because some of the best memories I have are still active, like meeting Bill Cosby and we're good friends, mm. um, meeting Arsenio Hall and we're good friends, and and of course Jay and we're still good friends, or people like that, or Whoopi Goldberg and um, and Willie Nelson, people that I've had to do arrangements for in the show, and I mean sometimes you meet these people and it's you're working with them um, for that day, you need an arrangement done and you work with them and it's cool. But some people become a part of your friendship, Mm -hmm. you know, your social life, you know. Um, And those are the memories that, man, I may not have ever met this person if it wasn't for the show. And now we're tight and we're helping each other out with good things and bad things. Mm -hmm. You know, call somebody and say, well, man, can you help me out there? I got a problem with this. And and they go, oh, man, what you need to do is A, B, and C because they have so much more experience. Mm -hmm. And, um, And I go, mom. I just got advice from Bill Cosby, so I know exactly what I'm going to do now. <laughs> and I said, who? I said, Bill. Just so she said, get out. And then she opens up her Temple yearbook, and she's in it, and Bill Cosby's picture is in because he went to Temple University in Philly. Oh. So then we start talking about that, and before you know it, I said, well, we would probably never have met the way we did if it wasn't for the show. So some of those memories are wow. it's more like the experiences that are still happening now because of the show the ones that i treasure the most that's Ke- awesome kevin eubanks man um man our time is running out but man you guys make sure you check out kevin on the usa series royal pains yep. on this thursday oh no tonight T- no no wait what's today wednesday oh no tuesday 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 on the 10th tuesday okay um at 9 p.m eastern Kev, what's next for you man you, you gonna go on tour are you putting out some more music yeah i have a long tour this summer from June 15th to September 1st, we are touring, and that's too long. That's too long? <laughs> that's, that's, that's too long. That's, that's, a that's lot, not man. a tour. That's something else. That's yeah. torture. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's, 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 that's funny. That's, that's good. That's <laughs> oh, just like the Tonight Show right there, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, it just happened, man. It just happened. I feel like Sway Leno right now, man. All right. Yeah. All right. You like that, y'all? All right, cool. Yeah, man. Pleasure to make your Oh, man, man. Thanks for having me, Absolutely, everybody. man. Absolutely. Everybody. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.